I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Urela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the Underworld are... cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Is everything all right, Branya? I didn't know Miss Topaz was so... intense. She seemed nice when we met her. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed? She claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Solworm Festival. Uh, since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago, how the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost, and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo VI. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster, and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the Architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage, and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. It wasn't until the Stellaron Crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And... the interest. 
an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Balabog, not extort it. Uh, right. We need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is too big and powerful. Even if Branya steps in, it'll be hard for her to resolve the situation. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. <sighs> I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... Now... I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. <laughs> yeah, after all, this guy here is a pretty good negotiator. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Oh, uh, hey! I just remembered! Topaz gave me her number! We might as well just... Be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. Okay, got it. She's at the museum. Let's get going. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Oh, did my smart reply function tell you where I was? It's a system developed by the technology department. Pretty neat, right? What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's, no, several generations' hardships. <laughs> you flatter me. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. Uh, sorry for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. Oh? The collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. This way.
Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. But with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh... Uh, help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. I see. I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabog's. I appreciate each case has its difficulties, but if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. The Strategic Investment Department is well-versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions, but Urilla 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I propose to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let's keep moving. So you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debts. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. Uh, I'm not sure it's as poetic as that. <gasps> wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? <sighs> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? <sighs> I suppose it probably is. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on display here. That's such a shame. I absolutely adore little animals. Have you guys met Numbi yet? I guess they're off playing somewhere. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now... It feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya... Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Uh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye! Uh, so, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch! I guess so. But that still doesn't fix Branya's problem. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. All these vested interests. It's so hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. Oh, wait, did I even go to school? Did someone send you a message?
Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Uh, seriously? Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute! Uh, again? I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Oh, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. Zila! Hey! Am I glad to see you two here? I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey! Just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us! Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the Underworlders. Who? We were just talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? The person you're talking about... Are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz, Pazto... Whatever her name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the Great Mine. Are you two with me? Hey, you two! Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way! You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the Snow Plains. Uh, so it's you! You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the Snow Plains! Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Sh shut up! I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? <sighs> IPC? Interviews? <sighs> I don't know what you're rambling on about. But you're really testing my patience. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. <laughs> Blade of Moonlight. In Lunar Flame. That's it? He sure took off quickly. Ugh, 17 rounds of interviews and these are the best people they can find? Huh, what a joke. Ugh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. Let's set off when you're ready. Ready for action? 
It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's get moving. Hello. It's Mr. Sfarog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Uh, hello, miss. Are you... I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sfarog. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the Nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. This is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that Urillo 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. All the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. 
It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Oh, what was it again? Numbi, right? What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's keeping one as a pet? Uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Wanna go take a look? Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numbi saying? <laughs> Seriously? You actually speak Trotter? Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Help! Those people dressed in black are attacking us! Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the Geo Marrow? I really don't know anything! This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards! I guess they want to do this the hard way! Next time. <laughs> yeah. Disappear among the sea of butterflies! Illusions of the past! Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks like Numbi's in a good mood. Uh, but aren't they on the IPC side? Strange. in charge. Let's go! Huh? Where'd Numbi go? Wow. For something so short and stubby, you're surprisingly nimble. Well, I guess that's that. We're on our own now. Let's keep going. Hey, you! Are you in charge around here? Ah, a local. The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the... Don't lie to us! You seized the mine by force for yourself! You drove the locals out of their homes! I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again! Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. You know Topaz? Interesting. It doesn't matter. The Strategic Investment Department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this project. In cases where debtors fail to repay within the set time frame, the IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. What exactly is your problem? You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it! <laughs> don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think I get to make those kinds of decisions? <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. 
Didn't you claim the IPC was all-powerful? <laughs> well, now's the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Ugh, if I knew things were gonna get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <laughs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with pirates, prepare yourselves for my heavy labor, damn it! All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Blade fodder. <laughs> Who are you people? Not even our tech could take you down. We took down the Doomsday Beast, the Stellaron, and Fantilia. Did you really think you could stop us? Yeah, darn it. I'm all out of ammo. Sir, we've just received word from the Director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%! 60%?! Sixty percent? We're done for! Uh, attention all personnel! Evacuate the mine immediately! Erase all traces of your presence! <sighs> so, are we all good here, or what? <sighs> yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming Fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Uh, it's a long story. Debt? What do you mean? You should... Probably ask Branya to explain it to you. Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? The timing couldn't have been any worse. Oh, looks like we've got a message. Feeling Branya's worried about something. We'd better go back and see her. Are you coming with us, Zila? Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klipoth Fort! <laughs> These guys? Don't look like to see By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further. Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. You later, Captain. Yeah.